my name is Chef Hari Cameron, and today we're making pasta with Arcobaleno. This is the Stella AEX30, and it is my favorite machine. This one sits in the window at Grandpa Mac at one of my restaurants. This machine makes 30 pounds of freshly extruded pasta in an hour, and I'm gonna show you how it's done. Making pasta with the AEX30 is as simple as mixing flour and water together. We suggest a 30% hydration rate for water to flour. Hydration can vary depending on the type of flour used. We'll talk more about that in a moment. First, let's talk about all of the parts that make this beautiful machine work. This pasta machine has the ability to mix your pasta dough to the proper hydration level and extrude it into 100 different shapes using different brass dies. There are 100 different dies available for this machine. Brass is softer than stainless steel, so you always must be very careful when cleaning these dies. The auger takes the hydrated dough and presses it through brass or Teflon coated extruding dies with enough pressure and friction to create the pasta. The auger in this pasta machine is constructed in bronze and stainless steel. Make sure that the auger and pasta machine are clean before using. The auger needs to be locked firmly against the male fitting located in the hopper of the pasta machine. The dies are held against the auger with the threaded die ring. Make sure that the threads are clean and free of dried pasta. Tighten the ring until it is completely on. You can use the wrench to tighten it a little bit extra, but be careful to not over tighten. Once the extruding assembly is together, you could put the mixing arm in place. The mixing arm goes into the hopper with the point fitting into the hole where the mixing arm bolt will lock it into place. Lock bolt into place by lifting springed pin and fitting it into the bolt hole. This machine can produce pasta from many different starch sources. For classic pasta, we suggest using golden semolina or durum flour. The hopper in this machine can hold up to 6.6 .6 pounds of semolina flour and two pounds of water. This machine can produce up to 30 pounds of pasta an hour. The most important rule of extruding pasta is to never dry extrude. Never hit the white extrusion button when the flour is dry or underhydrated. This is a catastrophic event and will severely damage your machine. Push the green mix button. Slowly pour water in a steady stream into the hopper, moving back and forth until fully incorporated. Let the dough mix for two to three minutes after all of the liquid has been added. Push the red stop button, open the lid, and check your dough for consistency. The dough should look like a coarse crumb or streusel like texture. When you grab the dough, ball it into your fist, it should come together into a solid mass. When you break that ball apart, it should fall down in large clumps. If dough is underhydrated, add a little bit more water, making sure to not overhydrate. Now that you have the perfect pasta dough, it's time to extrude. To extrude using the Stella AEX30, press the white extrusion button. While holding it in, press the green mixing button at the same time. Using a towel, clean off any old dough that was left into the die. If using the cutting wheel, place on die ring. Make sure that you line up the screw on the cutting arm and the flat surface on the cutting wheel peg. Once the cutting arm is firmly in place, push the cutting wheel on the ring as far as it will go and tighten it with the top screw clamp bolt. Turn the cutting wheel on by pushing the switch up from zero to one. Once dough is extruding, you can speed up or slow down the cutting wheel to suit your needs. Turning the knob right increases the speed while left slows it down. Adjust your cutting speed as your die heats up. Friction and pressure help to create your pasta. You can add an optional water cooling tank feature with a closed loop recirculating system. So there's no need for plumbing or wasting water. This allows you to adjust the temperature of the pasta being extruded. We suggest that you run your pasta machine between 90 and 100 degrees. This machine can be used on tabletop or you additionally can purchase a cart that holds the pasta trays in place. You occasionally may need to scrape down the sides of your hopper and push any stuck pasta dough into the mixing arm. You can change your die shape at any point in your pasta production. Store your dyes in water that has a few drops of food safe sanitizing soap. Always keep your unused dyes fully submerged in liquid. Once you're done extruding all of your pasta, disassemble and clean your machine. 
we suggest that you use a shop vac and a closed pasta tray for cleaning. This will help keep everything together. Use included cleaning kit to help remove stuck on pasta. Soak parts overnight to help loosen pasta. Clean machine parts gently with sponge and light scouring pad. I've really enjoyed making pasta today with the AEX30 Stella by Arcoboleno. It is an easy machine to use and very versatile. It'll work in any kitchen setting. I hope you've enjoyed this video and happy pasta making.